there was a great um, um, lecture which um, was presented by Professor Dieter about the initiation of anticoagulation. Um, so we uh, know that um, in patients with an acute ischemic stroke, we have like the, this well-known dinner rule of 1, 3, 6, and 12. So about the time frame after acute ischemic stroke, when it is safe to um, initiate um, anticoagulation therapy. So in a patient with a TIA, TIA um, we have to wait one day and then we can initiate anticoagulation. In patients with a mild stroke, we have to wait two days. Um, and in patients um, with a moderate stroke, we have to wait at least six to seven days. And in patients uh, with a severe stroke, um, uh, 12 or 14 days. And before that, we have to make a CT scan to exclude hemorrhagic transformation. So this is for patients with a moderate and severe stroke. So in patients who are actually um, on dabigatran and when they suffer an acute ischemic stroke and um, that we give them IVT after reversal, of course, then we always do a CT scan 24 hours after IVT. So we can, of course, initiate the anticoagulation therapy, like uh, in, in patients who just suffer acute ischemic stroke and they are not treated with the IVT. So again, we have this uh, very well-known time frame window about the initiation of um, anticoagulation. Um, so it is like everyday clinical practice, and uh, I think that this time frame window is uh, now well known to all the clinicians, and uh, we know that it is safe um, to uh, wait for the moderate stroke, like uh, for six to seven days, um, and for um, severe stroke, 12 to 14 days. But of course, we have to exclude, as I said, the hemorrhagic transformation, because we know that the cardioembolic stroke, there is a very high probability of uh, hemorrhagic transformation, especially when the strokes are big.